Welcome back. So a few people installed Riva Tuner and started receiving this error message and had messaged me about it. And as I looked into it, there is a couple ways to fix it. One is kind of patching the issue and it's a quick edit of the config file. We're actually silencing the alert, but it allows Riva Tuner to still run. The second one is gonna be grabbing the newest version. In some cases, it's gonna be beta. It really depends on when you're looking at this video and I'll be providing links so I can show you how to install it and get it up and running. So let's get started. All right, let's take a look at the first option and that is the quick fix and that's editing the config file. And I'll just show you the version that I'm using right now. So you can see over here, I have Riva Tuner version 7.30. Uh, 7.32 and greater seem to not have this issue anymore because they've patched it. And I'll show you how to download that right after, but let's just take a look at the config file and we'll modify it. So we'll begin by clicking on the start button and inside the search field, we're gonna type in notepad. And up at the top, we're gonna right click on it and select run as administrator, say yes to the prompt. And here we go. So we have Net notepad running as administrator. We're gonna click on file and go to open. Okay, and what we want to do is find the config file that we're going to be modifying. So we're going to go into here, Program Files x86. And then we're going to go down and look for Riva Tuner Statistics Server. Next is Profile Templates. We're going to open this up. And then we're going to select the text documents and say All Files so we can see all the config files in here. And we're looking for the configuration file, which is called Config. We're going to select this and then click on open. And now we have the config file open. And what we're doing in here is we're just looking for silent and you can see it has a zero, so that means it's off. So what we wanna do is switch that zero to a one. By switching it to one, we're activating this feature and it's gonna silence any uh, alerts that we're gonna get. Now we'll just click on file and go to save and we can close it. And in order for this to execute and run properly, we want to just go to power and restart. So we'll restart our computer and the next time it loads up, this new configuration file will take place and begin to start loading onto your computer. Next, what we'll do is look at the second option. And the second option is to download the newest beta version that's out right now. Uh, now, depending on when you're seeing this video, it might be beta or it might be in full release. Uh, but using the version 7.32 or greater is going to help resolve this issue. You're just going to have to reinstall it. So I just want to give credit from where I found this information. And it was on Reddit on the Windows 10 subreddit. And inside the users in here, we're talking about the exact same issue I'm talking about right now with Riva Tuner not uh, running properly. And it seems like a series of updates that ran on Windows is the reason why we're having this problem right now. And the best way to resolve this issue is just go to guru3d.com and download the newest beta version of Riva Tuner Statistics Server. So the link is right here in the subreddit, but I also have put it in the link in the description below, uh, a direct link so you can just automatically download it. Right here, you can see that the version 7.32 beta 2 is the newest one that they have out. When you go to the link, it automatically downloads the zip file and then the setup file is in here so you can reinstall it. So by going to this link for Riva Tuna Statistics Server, you can download the newest beta version or version 7.32 or greater will help resolve this issue and run smoothly on your PC. So I think this is gonna help most users resolve this uh, error message that they're getting. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. If you have any other issues, go ahead and put it in the comments below. I'll try my best to help you out. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.